Hey guys, Neil and Julie here. We're just uh, out running some errands on a Saturday. Taekwondo for our youngest and uh, a bunch of other stuff going on. But uh, we were going over some recipes. And uh, do you guys like recipes? Do you like recipes? Unfortunately, I do. I print off so many. And uh, so what we're looking at is, uh, well, it's going to be a surprise. But there's going to be, uh, we're going to shoot uh, several videos uh, over the next few days. And uh, you guys know I'm not a big look-alike recipe person, but, and I've mentioned last night in a, in a live, there's exceptions. The, uh, the, the keto tomato soup, that was amazing, it's so good. And there's some others, and we, what we're gonna do is show you some, some keto-fied recipes that uh, will help you in your journey, whether it's a, a temporary bridge to get you over the hump, or whether it's something that uh, you know you want to do recurring um, we're gonna have some some fun stuff for you so stay tuned stay aware and uh, get ready to cook because it's gonna be delish and I it, hope so anyway well it's gonna be chef Julie, so it's gonna be great it always is so, so stay tuned and uh, we'll have some videos uh, for some crazy real real soon Focaccia. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about it. Um, it is garlic focaccia um, that we're going to try to use for the uh, chicken pizza type style. Looks good. So what's in it? Um, almond flour, mozzarella, baking powder, uh, mozzarella, cream cheese, almond flour, baking powder, and one egg. And then coarse salt and chopped garlic. Okay, for this pizza dough that we do. This is the fat head dough? It is. It is a fat head dough, but I changed it up a little bit. So my trick is instead of doing three-fourths cup of almond flour, I do a half a cup of almond flour and a fourth a cup of coconut flour. And then... When the whole ball, and when everything is done and put together, then what I do is put it in between two parchment papers and I sprinkle coconut flour on the bottom before I put the dough on it. And then I sprinkle a little bit of the coconut flour on the top. That way it's not sticking to the parchment paper because it'll rip. So, but if you get to a point where you're trying to peel it off and and it's sticking, stick it in the freezer for just a couple minutes, not long, just enough to where you could pull it and it stays intact like this. All right, so I think I left it on the parchment paper to make it easy to bake. All right, you ready? Right. And then make sure your pizza stone is warm and ready to go. And how long do you bake that for? 12 to 14 minutes. All right, and I think the second parchment paper, so when we get ready to flip it, I actually flip the pizza crust and put it on the opposite side and put it back in the oven so they could bake a little bit. So it's baked on both sides. That way it has that crispy texture of a pizza. Thin crust. Yes. Okay, guys, let me explain real quick why I'm sometimes a little bit against uh, look-alike recipes, keto-fied recipes. This is the focaccia bread that we just made, and we're going to use it as pizza dough. Uh, but you can use it just as bread, too. It's the, the challenge is this tastes great. It tastes wonderful. The challenge is if your relationship with food, if you've not come to terms with that, if you maybe fight against cravings, this could be a stumbling block in your health journey. Again, the recipe is great. The macros are, are fine. The challenge is, oh, this is a keto bread. I can use it anytime I want. No, says I. You eat this too much, you're going to have what they call carb creep, and it's going to keep increasing your carbs because you're eating it more often. But the other thing is this kind of sidesteps you dealing with your relationship with food. So just a word of caution. These recipes are great. We're going to share them. Uh, but just a word of caution to uh, not get so dependent on these that you have to have them. 
they can be a crutch and they can be an occasional treat down the road, but uh, we're going to share because they're great. Enjoy. All right, so here is the best head dough, and it's already been hooked up, so I'm going to put it on here. It is hot. Lord have mercy, is that hot. All right, so I'm going to take that second parchment paper. I'm going to flip it. Oh, y'all, I don't think I'm going to have to cook it very long. But see what I'm talking about? This is why I put it in the freezer so it doesn't tear. So be gentle with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in the oven for just a couple more minutes just to ensure that everything is cooked. But it looks really, really good. So, hey guys, now we're back. We're going to be working on making homemade pesto sauce for the pieces that we're going to be making. And so what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to throw the ingredients together. As you can tell, we've got fresh basil right here. We've got some toasted pecans that I made. Um, I just added... I took raw pecans and I added some butter and rimbun salt and toasted those. And then I've got my fresh lemon juice and I've got my chopped garlic along with the parmesan here. So, and then I'm going to add the avocado oil to make the pesto. So let's go ahead and get this started. So the first thing I'm going to do is do two cups of basil, which is right here. And I'm just going to put it in here. We have an immersion blender, so that is what I'm using today. So then the next thing we're going to need is the two cloves of garlic. I added just a little bit of extra garlic because we like garlic. And I don't want any vampires in my house. Of course, in my, I was thinking it would keep my husband from kissing me, but that's not the case. All right, so I've got the garlic in there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is a half a cup. Most pestos ask for... Olive oil, I'm using avocado, so hopefully it won't kill me. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to do a half a cup, which is about four ounces. Then a little over. Y'all know I measure with my heart most of the time, but because I've never actually made homemade pesto, I've seen it done but never actually done it myself. So this should be interesting. All right, so I've got my oil. And then what you're gonna do is after you get your olive oil, you're gonna do your pecan. So there's a, a fourth a cup that we use. I put this on the table on the napkin because I wanted to drain it just a little bit. So we've got some pecans in there. Now, pesto sauce, everybody uses a different nut. I have heard people use things like um, macadamia nuts, pine nuts. I'm just going with pecans. So toasted pecan for, for us. Um, okay, so once I've done that, then I'm going to add two ounces of freshly Parmesan cheese. Now, I am picky about Parmesan cheese. I do like the original. Um, I use the one from Whole Foods. I forget. It's just right there in Whole Foods, but you can also use Parmesan Reggiana and the boar heads it's really good it's a product of Italy you want a good one so it gives a good flavor so we've got that going and then the next thing I'm going to do is fresh lemon juice and it says that it wants two tablespoons so I'm going to do two tablespoons maybe I should add another we'll see all right, so here we go. So I have everything in here. So now I'm going to use my immersion blender. So it's going to get real loud, so bear with me. All right, guys, so now we're back, and we have made our pesto sauce. I did add some water to it. Just be really careful. Water if you water it down too much, it might be too saucy. So I went ahead and started on the focaccia. Just kind of just just dribble it over. I am doing one on tortilla, so we're gonna do different kinds. Um, we have one that does not like jalapenos at all. I don't know if you guys remember uh mellow mushroom, their what is it called? Babe, the Beatles song. It's the mystical, magical, magical mystery, mystery tour. tour. So that's what we're doing is we're copying that recipe. Ketofied. 
Yeah, keto fried. So here, let's go over what we've got. We have got the low carb tortillas. We've got the keto fried focaccia bread that's in butter and garlic and salt. And then this is the pizza crust I was telling you about. So it's like pizza. So we're yeah, going. And, and this is a like a traditional fathead. Dough. Yes, this is a fat head dough, and so what I'm doing is just adding a little bit of this on there, and then we're going to go ahead and put all the ingredients on there. So let me tell you what the ingredients I have on these, uh, on our meal tonight. So we're going to have some chicken, which I baked in the oven. I just put uh, salt and pepper, and I think I put a little bit of avocado oil on the skin to... to um, make it a little bit crispy because we keep the chicken skin and we eat them like they're chips so so we're gonna have some chicken in there these are a mixture of mushrooms on the mellow mushroom one they usually use button mushrooms and they use portobello's i have decided because i really really like um I like the shiitake mushroom. I hope I said that right. And I like portobello. So we're going to spread it out over that. We've got some chicken in here. I do have some nachos jalapeno sliced. I've got some red pepper. And I'm going to put some sriracha sauce on there. Sriracha cha cha. Sriracha. Yeah, sriracha cha cha. And then I'm going to, over here is, this is actually fresh mozzarella that I grated. And it is... You can get fresh mozzarella. I got the sliced one by mistake, but it works. I was able to use my wonderful handy dandy uh, grater that I so love. It's really dirty right now. And then right here is that fresh Parmesan Reggiana that I use, and it's supposed to be grated, so it's well fine. And then over here, we've got feta. Everything is better with feta. So those are going to be the things that we're going to put on this pizza. So I'm going to continue working on getting it together and then you guys can see what it looks like before I put it in the oven. I'll see you in a minute. Spicy. No, thank you. All right. Red bell red shakes. If y'all like it spicy, make it spicy. Don't like it spicy, don't put spice on it. All right. And then, can I have a fork, please? All right. Here we go. All right, so we're just gonna place it strategically on that. If y'all can't tell, I used to work for a pizza place when I was a kid back home in Nebraska. I loved my job back then as a kid. Oh, don't eat that trip. That would be bad. So Lexi's is not going to have jalapenos or sriracha. Yeah, um. everybody. All right. Now I'm just going to do the sriracha. All right. Now it's time for the piping. Can I have the scissors, please? I need the good ones. Those are the crappy ones. Yeah, let's get the good scissors from our new... Uh, Grow Dark set. Best it, knives we've ever used. It is awesome. All right. So this is going to come out a lot, so i got to be careful. All 
All right, guys, this is pretty much the pizza that it's going to be now. So, it's going to go in the oven now. Let's see what it looks like when we get done. Right, guys, now we're back. We're getting ready to pull the pizza out. So, let's see what they look like. Oh, it smells really good. So, there is that one. The focaccia. The little tortilla. And this is on regular, like, not regular pizza crust, but keto five pizza crust. So we're gonna let it cool down for a minute and then we're gonna plate it up and then we're gonna serve it. Let's see what our family has to think about it. All right. Let's, which one? Let's try the uh, low carb tortilla first. Okay. This one? Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. Okay. Mine's all low carb tortilla. Yeah. All right. I can really take it reminds me of magical mystery tour pizza that does mm -hmm. with that low carb. Does this have mushroom in it? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting the mushroom, chicken, the pesto. I love it. Good. I I'm also getting a lot of cheese. So good. All right, what do so you think? All right, let's try another one. Don't finish it. Let's try the fathead dough. Okay, fathead dough. All right. All right. We didn't give it to you because it was spicy. All right. I'm just going to keep on eating. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like a thin crust pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's more of a pizza crust, like what you'd expect. Yeah. I think the the low carb tortillas are good for a quick and dirty, you know, or just, you know, you got to throw it together. But if you got the time, I, I do prefer that, the fat head dough. All right. All right. Now the one we've all been waiting for. The focaccia. Focaccia. All right. Because the focaccia bread by itself was so good. It was. Let's right. see how it is. Focaccia. That's the favorite. Mine too. Mine too. That's really good. I haven't tasted that mm. or the mixture of. Survey said! Focaccia. Focaccia. I think so. Focaccia. Is. Okay, guys. Well, we just had us a feast. And I gotta say, the, the, the clear winner in the uh, chicken pesto pizza contest was hands down Focaccia. It was the bomb diggity, the bee's knees, the cat's meow, the cat's pajamas. It was amazing. So we're going to have all the recipes uh, and alterations to them down in the show notes. And uh, as corny as it sounds, hashtag follow us for more recipes. But uh, we enjoyed it. We're going to do some more of these. We've got plenty of other recipes that we want to share with you guys to help you on your health journey. So anyway, we love you guys. Uh, PhdSynergy.com, and we will see you 